Welcome back, Goy Hunter Ohana. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to be in hodgepodge heaven. We have media from Amazon Prime, eBay, Best Buy, Boomoos, and Walmart. So settle in your comfy chair and relax. Here we go. The first one, which I haven't watched yet, is The Toll. The Toll. Everyone pays in the end. It is a Lionsgate horror film with slipcover. Yay. I believe I bought this one at Walmart. Walmart. And I think... Cool Duder also liked this film. So, it's an unforgettable ride. Supernatural terror and spine-tingling suspense highlight this gripping journey into fear. When Cammy orders a taxi service to take her to her father's country home, she's hoping for a quiet and uneventful ride. Ooh, but a wrong turn by Spencer. Her chatty driver results in the car stalling on a dark, remote road. Ooh, <laughs> the toll. Gee, I wonder if that guy's going to, I don't know. Okay, yay, first one. Another 60-something to go. I finally gave in and bought this at Walmart, too. Deep Blue Sea, deadlier than ever. I wanted to complete, complete my collection of the Deep Sea series and it had a nice slip cover, of course. On the tiny island of Little Happy, Dr. Emma Collins and her team monitor a flourishing marine nursery where great white sharks come to breed. Their ideal, idyllic existence is interrupted when Emma's ex-boyfriend arrives in search of three murderous bull sharks. But these aren't ordinary sharks. Their mother, Bella, is genetically modified. Ooh, modified scary sharks. That's scary. The next one. Now, I think I was watching a, a Dollar Tree movie. And I like dragons. So I bought this on eBay. Draco Drake. Drakono, Drakono. Here is the back. Um, this is an interesting. This is uh, released by Origin Releasing. Let's see. Without warning, Washington State's long dormant Mount Baker blows its volcanic top. Among the debris and devastation unleashed are strange flying creatures with a. Uh, Appetite for human flesh. Oh, there's dog fights and dragons are emergency from the volcano. I like volcanoes. I like dragons. I just thought, hmm, maybe we'll find it at a Dollar Tree. You never know. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So, Deep Blue is from Warner Brothers. Deep Blue Seas is from Warner Brothers. I'm sorry. The next one... I didn't have this in my collection yet, so I ordered it from Amazon Prime. State of play, state of play. But look, the cover is, I don't know, look at that. They just stuck it in there and it's all uneven. Here is the back. Uh, this has Russell Crowe, Bren Affleck, uh, Rachel McAdams, and Helen Mirren. A cad... Academy Award winning Russell Crowe leads an all-star cast, including everyone I just said. It's a blistering thriller about deception, manipulation, and corruption. When DC reporter Cal is assigned to investigate the murder of an assistant of an up-and-coming politician, he uncovers a conspiracy that threatens to bring down the nation's power structures in a town with spin doctors and wealthy power brokers. Wow. I don't know how I missed this one. This is a universal release. State of play. Yahoo. Oh. And 
I decided to start a, a Nicole Kidman collection. So I bought this. Boy Erased. And look, what a lead in. Russell Crowe's in it too. Here is the pack. And um, one of the most unforgettable films of the year. Focus release. Came with a slipcover. Here is the pack. Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's written for the screen and directed by Joel Edinger. Edingerton. Oh, it's just a normal. Sorry about that. So, I heard this was great. I gotta watch this one. I think it's a tearjerker. And this is the courageous story of Jared Emmons, the son of a Baptist pastor in a small small town America who must overcome the fallout of being outed to his parents. Oh. His parents struggle with the with reconciling their love for their son and with their beliefs. Oh, it is a tearjerker. Boy erased. If you guys saw it, you can tell me about it in the comments. Now, I ordered this from Amazon too because I love Mads Meckerson, Age of Uprising. I just love this actor. His voice, his demeanor. Here's the back. And this is a, let's see, a Music Box Films release. Uh, let's see, it's a humble horse merchant and loving family man who is left with no choice but to take matters into his own hands after he is cheated by a callous baron and a befallen by tragedy. Oh, another tearjerker. Age of the Uprising. Oh. Okay, now I saw this movie. And it's a slow burner, but it's quite creepy. Relic. Relic. With, um... Emily Mortimer, Robin Nevin, Bella Heathcote. Terrifying, terrifying, it turns a haunted house story on its head. And it got Rotten Tomatoes. Here is the back of the slipcover. This movie has double symbolism of what's happening to the people and the house. And that's all I'm going to say, but I'll read the back to you. Let's see. When elderly mother Edna inapplicably vanishes, her daughter Kay and her granddaughter Sam rush to the family's decaying country home, finding clues to her increasing dementia scattered around the house in her absence. After Edna returns just as mysteriously as she disappeared, Kay con Kay's concerned that her mother seems unwilling or unable to say where she's been. <laughs> Relic. Mm, this is a thinking movie. But it, it's creepy, and like I said, it's a slow burner. But I liked it. And another new one that I watched with Chloe Grace Morantz. Shadow in the Cloud. Shadow in the Cloud. Here's the back. Now this is a very deceptive movie. I thought this was like a war movie and a female pilot. No, there's a little horror in this. I loved it. I'm not going to say what it is. And there's a twist. So I thoroughly enjoyed this film. Here is the slipcover. I ordered this from Amazon also. And they did a good job in shipping the slipcover. But I will read you the back. Okay. In the throes of World War II, Captain Maud Garrett joins an all-male crew of a B-17 bomber with a top secret package. Caught off guard by the presence of a woman on a military flight, the crew tests Maud's every move. Just as qu her quick wit is winning them over, strange happenings and holes in her backstory incite paranoia surrounding her true mission. I'm not gonna tell you anymore, but I enjoyed this. Shadow in the Cloud. It, like I said, I thought it was going to be some dumb war movie. And then, since I love 
movies where humans aren't really humans and they're creatures. I love this. Spring. I watched this one too. Spring. It's a monster love story. Here's the back. Oh, um, this is a draft house film. And Evan is a young American fleeing to Europe to escape his past. While backpacking along the Italian coast, everything changes during a stop in an idyllic Italian village where he meets and instantly connects with the enchanting and mysterious Louise. A flirtatious romance begins to bloom between the two. However, Evan soon realized that Louise has been harboring a monstrosity secret. Oh, spring. I loved it too. Because I love those movies when the humans aren't what they seem. Oh, it's another good one. I watched this one too. Don't tell a soul. Don't tell a soul. Um, this has uh, Rain Wilson in it. And here is the back. Nice slip cover. Woo! I think I got this one at Walmart. I think. And another little twisty. So this one is about... While well, stealing money to help their sick mother, teen brothers Matt and Joey are surprised by Hemby, a security officer who gives chase and then is trapped in a well. Over the next few days, Joey and Hemby, Hanby, sorry, forge an uneasy relationship. Han, Hanby tells Joey he'll keep quiet if Joey sets him free. But Hanby holds another secret, one that will threaten Joey and his family. In this cat and mouse thriller. Don't tell a soul. Yeah, this one's good too. Don't worry. These digital codes will be in a give in my giveaways. Uh, this is a... What do you... Oh my... Oh, it sounds loose. Oh no, it's not. I hope not. It's short term 12. This is an upgrade. Uh, I got the... DVD from a Dollar Tree haul. Oh, I think I... Oh, it is loose. I gotta fix this. Um, I think I found it cheap on... I think it was on eBay. I just was flipping through stuff and I found it. And then, I think in that batch from this same gentleman I buy from eBay, John Carpenter, The Ward. The Ward. I missed this and now I bought it. Amber Heard is in it. That's why I bought that, too. Because Amber Heard is playing something different than what she usually plays. A different type of character. And this is a Arc Center Entertainment. Welcome to North Bend Psychiatric Hospital. An isolation ward for disturbed women that holds a terrifying secret. Kristen, a beautiful but volatile young woman, finds herself bruised, cut, drugged, and held against her will at this sinister asylum. Trying to gain control of her memory and figure out how she got there, Kristen discovers that a savage ghostly figure roams the halls at night. One by one, other patients begin to disappear. Woo-hoo! John Carpenter's The Ward. I gotta watch this baby. That sounds good. Yes! Oh, I... I oh, man. Rent-a-pal. Yes. Get this. Rent-a-pal. Great acting. Will Wheaton. You remember him as a kid in Stand By Me. Brian Landis Fulkins. Here is the back. Oh, great slipcover. I bought this at Walmart. Or no, Bull Moose. Bull Moose. Oh, I got... Let me read this one. Okay. This is a Scream IFC Midnight release. Uh, cool Duder loved this too. He talks to you. He listens to you. He understands you. He's your rent a pal. In this thriller set in the 1990s, a lonely bachelor named David searches for an escape from the day-to-day -day drudgery of caring for his aging mother. While seeking a partner through a video dating service, he discovers a strange VHS tape called Rent-A-Pal. Hosted by the charming and charismatic Andy, 
The tape offers him much needed company, compassion, and friendship. But there's a price to pay for admission. Rent a pal. Get this and watch it. Um, if you see it, you guys just watch it. So, uh, on and they it's so well directed. It was done on a low budget. I mean, for a low budget film, they did great. Then I bought this Batman Death in the Family interactive movie. I didn't understand what that meant, but I had to get it for my collection. And this is from Best Buy because of the beautiful slip cover. I could pick it. Let's see. Oh, the viewer's choice. You get to pick your own ending there. That's what it is. Immerse yourself in this interactive movie based on the iconic DC storyline event where your choices will shape the destinies of the Gotham City's Cape Crusaders. Trained as Batman's protege, Jason Todd brings a relentless sense of justice as Robin, who sets his sights on bringing down the Joker. But can Batman save Robin from a fate worse than death? Can he? Can he? I hope so. Batman, death in the family. Oh, I haven't seen, watched this yet, but I heard good stuff. Centigrade. They're trapped in that car. This is another Shout Factory release. IFC Midnight. Beautiful slipcover. Beautiful. It must be from Bull Moose. They, they pack it so well. Uh, let's see. Inspired by real events, this harrowing film follows a young American couple, Matt and Naomi, as they travel to the Arctic mountains of Norway. After pulling over during a snowstorm, they wake up trapped in their SUV, parried underneath layers of snow and ice. As if the stakes aren't high enough for the pair, Naomi is eight months pregnant as they contemplate how to escape their frozen prison. Will they make it out alive? We don't know. We got to watch it. Wow. No one is coming to save you. That's the catch line. Oh, I haven't watched this yet, but I'm excited. Because it's from the makers of Bone Tomahawk. Castle Freak. This is a remake. Castle Freak. Uh, a bold reimag reimagination of a horror classic. Here is the back. And here is the slipcover. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Wow, that's a scary looking... Look at that monster. Anywho. After she's permanently blinded in a tragic car accident, Rebecca receives some bizarre news. Her long-lost mother has recently passed away, leaving her her family's... Uh, her family's castle. Traveling to the estate, estate with a group of friends, Rebecca hopes it will be an opportunity for her to reconnect with her past. She never knew and a mother who seemingly left her behind. Ooh, there's a lot of scary stuff happening in that castle. Castle Freak, another one I need to watch. The next one I haven't watched yet, but I better watch it. Wrong Turn. Wrong Turn. At Charlotte Vega and Matthew Modine. We still haven't learned. That's hilarious. Here is the back. And this is the beautiful slip cover. Okay. Oh, let's see. Uh, this is the Lionsgate release. Backwoods terror and nerve jangling suspense meet when Jen and a group of friends set out to hike the Appalachian Trail. Despite warnings to stick to the trail, the hikers stray off course and cross into land inhibited by the foundation, a hidden community of mountain dwellers who use deadly means to protect their way of life. Oh. Oh boy. Wrong turn. Now I know why it says haven't they learned yet. Then, you know, I love my action films. I gave in and bought 400 bullets. 400 bullets. Uh, here is the back. 
this is a shout. Ooh, it's a shout factory release. Yay. Here is the back. I think I got this from Bull Moose too. Let's see. And oh, I need my glasses. Sorry, folks. An edge of your seat military action actioner about what it means to fight for honor instead of profit. 400 bullets combines gun battles, epic hand-to-hand -hand fight sequences, and the banter of hardened soldiers into a lean, two-fisted film that packs a wallop. One cold night in Afghanistan is about to get a whole lot worse for Rana Ray, a Gur Gurha soldier left to guard a British military post when Captain Noah Brandt arrives looking for a for refuge from a group of rogue special ops and a cell of heavily armed Taliban. The two soldiers must fight for their lives as they attempt to call for backup. Wow. It sounds great. I don't know why I haven't watched it yet. 400 bullets. The next one. Ah, uh, yes, I had to buy it. I know it might be corny, but I hope not. Vanguard, Jackie Chan's latest release vanguard here is the back uh this is a oh it doesn't say here is the slip cover very nice let's see where it it has to say where it's released uh lion's gate and gravitas venture an international superstar and martial arts legend, Jackie Chan, leaps into action as Tang, CEO of a covert security company, Vanguard, in this gripping action thriller. After wealthy businessman Chang, Ching, wait, Chin run, rats out his corrupt partner in an arms deal gone fatally wrong, he and his family become targets of the world's deadliest mercenary organization. And the fighting power of Tang's team is their only hope to survival. Wow, they went all around the world. London, Zimbabwe, India, the Arabian Desert, and Dubai. Vanguard, Jackie Chan. I hope he does some action. I don't know. Now this was a great upgrade. So, this is an old, old Donnie Yen movie, Legend of the Wolf. Legend of the Wolf. Look at how young Donnie is. This is 1992 or 1993. I ordered this from Hong Kong. And oh, look, it comes. This is how it comes out that way. Here, slip cover. And, and um, I love this film. The martial arts is exquisite. Donnie's so young. He's this. They shot this film. I don't. And so many different camera angles. The fighting scenes are crazy. I, I don't know if they sped it up or this is their normal speed. Anyway, this is about... He has amnesia. He And uh, he was working for... Uh, running around with a gangster mob back in the old days. And then one of the... He beats up one of the mob bosses or kills the brother... And then he has amnesia. He goes into this little town and they welcome him and the, they track him down and all that fighting. Excellent martial arts if you like Donnie Yen, Legend of the Wolf. But you must order it through eBay um, by, and it is only available in Blu-ray via Hong Kong um, by, um, sellers. And then, oh, Driving Miss Daisy upgrade from... DVD. Yes. I was so excited. I finally got it. Um, this was upgraded just recently. So I had to buy it. Driving Miss Daisy. Oh, The Undoing. Oh, that movie, that series on HBO Max was so good. So I bought it. Yes, as soon as it, it was available. And it, plus, it's a Nicole Kidman. It can go into my collection. And Hugh Grant. Grace and Jonathan Frazier have the life they always wanted. She's a successful therapist. Is there a glare? I'll go here. Well, 
Oh, I can't get the glare off. Oh, sorry. Uh, she is a successful therapist, and he is an acclaimed pediatric oncologist, and their son attends an elite private school in Manhattan. But for Grace, everything unravels overnight. A violent death, a missing husband, a series of unthinkable revelations. Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant star in this gripping HBO limited series from writer David E. Kelly. Yes. Um, this was a Warner Brothers HBO collab. Great series. You got to watch it. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh I can't do it because of my arthritis. Wow. And this is an upgrade. Zulu. Zulu. I had the yes, I had the DVD, and now I have the Blu-ray, and I had and I found out I think it's just a, oh no, is this a B region B again? Oh no, I think it is. Oh, it does no, yay ABC. Sorry there, Zulu. Uh, this is with Orlando Bloom and Forrest Whitaker. Uh, I already reviewed that one. Woo! Oh my gosh, it's 37 minutes. I still have a whole stack. Let's go faster, maybe. Cold Mountain. Nicole Kidman. Renee Zellwinger. Jude Law. Uh, I. This is an upgrade from a DVD. Uh, this is nominated for 70 Academy Awards. It's. You, I'm sure many of you already saw, that, saw this. At the dawn of the Civil War, the men of Cold Mountain, North Carolina, rushed to join the Confederate Army. Ada has vowed to wait for Inman, but as the war drags on and letters goes unanswered, she must find the will to survive. At the war's end, hearts will be dashed, dreams fulfilled, and the strength of the human spirit tested, but not broken. Cold Mountain. Another one. Another Nicole Kidman for movie for my collection, Strange Land. Stranger Land. Here's the back. Uh, this has Nicole Josephini's Ralph's brother. When Catherine and Matthew, two teenage children, suddenly vanish in a dust storm, the couple's relationship is pushed to the brink as they confront the mystery of their children's disappearance in the soaring desert heat. Wow. This is a... Screen Australia, Australia Worldwide Entertainment release. That sounds really good too. Oh, I haven't watched this yet. Scare me, scare me. This is a Shutter release, and look at that. This is from Amazon. Look at that terrible. They crushed my. Um, they crushed. Oh. My um, slip cover, so I was so sad. Oh boy. So, Scare Me is a recent release. Two strangers, Fred and Fanny, are stuck in their Catskills cabin during a power outage. Looking to pass the time, they decide to tell each other scary stories, but the more Fred and Fanny commit to their stories, the more the stories come to life. Wow. <laughs> Scare me. It's a RLJE film and shudder. That sounds good. Oh, I could hardly wait till this came out on 4K. News of the world. Tom Hanks and this little girl. Boy, what a great actress. Um, what does it say her name? Oh, I think it. Oh, here's the back. Let me take this baby out. Whoa. I can hardly wait to watch this. So, this movie, I saw it on... It was streaming, but it wasn't in good quality like this 4K. So, Tom Hanks comes home from the Civil War, and he decides that... I think his wife passes away. Wait. Wait. Five years after the Civil War, Captain Jefferson moves from town to town as a nonfiction storyteller, sharing the news from the far reaches of the globe. Yes. 
And then he meets this little girl. Uh, in the plains of Texas, he crossed paths with a 10 year old girl taken by the Kiowa people and raised as their own. A kid agrees to deliver the child where the law says she belongs. Uh, as they travel hundreds of miles into the unforgiving wilderness, the two face tremendous challenges of both human and natural forces. Oh, touching, great film. News of the world. Great. And of course, I bought Godzilla in 4K. Gajira. This is the remake. I mean, not the remake. This is the 4K version of... Let's see. This is the... Um, this is the one with Brian Cranston in it. And... Ken Watanabe. That God's Gojira film. Gojira. I guess that's the real the Japanese way of pronouncing it. Then I saw this baby. A documentary about Alaska. I love those polar bears. So I decided to get it from eBay. It's presented as an an IMAX theater mode. So this takes us on a journey to Alaska. Uh, despite harsh conditions, life in Alaska always finds a way to endure. Oh, it's beautiful. And this is a graphic films narrated by Charlton Heston. Wow. Alaska. Then I bought this at Walmart. I don't know why. I haven't watched it. Russian Raid. Russian Raid. Vengeance at any cost. Here is the back. Ooh, it's a tight one, too. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now, this is about... Uh, this is a Welgo USA film release. Long after the murder of his father, a secret agent killed in a missile factory raid, former Special Forces operative Nikita returns to Russia as a mercenary. He leads an elite force on elite team on a top dollar heist targeting the same facility, but no one else knows his true objective is revenge. Uh this there is subtitles, so if you don't like subtitles, it's in Russian. But I don't mind. I don't know how is this loose too? Oh brother. That upsets me. It's Denial with Rachel Weiss, Tom Wilkerson. I don't know how I missed this movie. Here is the back. This is a, oh, let's see. Oscar winner Rachel Weiss stars in this powerful true story based on the acclaimed book Denial, Holocaust, History of Trial. Uh, when Deborah speaks out against Holocaust denier David Irving over the falsification of history, she discovers that the stakes are higher than ever in the battle for historical truth. Wow. It's a universal release. Very, very moving film. Denial. Gotta watch that. Gotta watch that. And you'll be seeing this soon. Rounders in a giveaway because I already have it. This is the new version of Rounders. Uh, basically, it's um, Matt Damon, Edward Norton, great cast, poker game. I mean, he puts himself through school and gets out of debt playing poker, but of course he's gonna encounter a lot of interesting characters along the way. The next one I bought, Tom Cruise, Days of Thunder in 4K. Yes. This is actually mm, a double upgrade because I only had the DVD. This, it's a, this is the film that Nicole and Tom met on. Days of Thunder. And for those of you, I can refresh your memory. From the engine roar and the fever pitch of professional stock car racing... Days of Thunder explodes with some of the most spectacular racing action 
ever captured on film. Tom Cruise plays race car driver Cole Trickle, whose talent and ambition are surpassed by his burning need to win. Um, that's it. Days of Thunder. 4K. On this, Bewitched. Bewitched Blu-ray. Uh, this is a B region only. It's only in Europe. With um, Will Ferrell. Here's the back. So, uh, I this movie's funny. I liked it. So, they only had the DVD version in the States. So, I had to order this from a European seller in on eBay. And it is only a B-Region Blu-ray. So, you got to have a B-Region Blu-ray player. And, of course, this is based on the the TV series Bewitched. And Nicole Kidman plays Samantha. And Will Ferrell as Darren. Monster Hunter. If you like monsters, you love this in 4K. And I love that Tony Jaw was in this. Here is the back. And Mila Jovich is in this. Great. Great special effects. Um, I know a lot of people that played the video game didn't like the film because it wasn't like the game, but mm, it's a movie and you got to squeeze everything in at least an hour and 50 minutes. Monster Hunter. A nonstop action. Behind our world, there's another. A world of dangerous and powerful monsters that rule their domain with deadly ferocity. When an unexpected sandstorm transports Captain Artemis and her unit... To a new world, the soldiers are shocked to discover that this hostile and unknown environment is home to enormous and terrifying monsters immune to their firepower. Monster Hunters. Great film to watch in 4K. That's... Ooh. When this came out, I grabbed it. Breakdown. I'm so glad they finally put this on Blu-ray. Kurt Russell. It could happen to anyone. Great film. Finally on Blu-ray, and this was packaged by v Via Vision. Look how beautiful! And uh, just in case you've never heard of this film, you should really watch it. Jeff Taylor and his wife Amy have parted after their car engine died on a remote highway. When Jeff later shows up at their arranged, I mean agreed rendezvous, Amy is not there. Nobody's talking, and the police are no help leading Jeff on a desperate search to locate his missing wife. This was in 1997. Originally a Paramount Pictures release. Breakdown. Must watch. Must watch. Then I got this at Walmart. This is another... What did I say? Shape Shelf Saving Space. Critters. The Critter Collection. I got them all now. Can you see it? Let's see. Critters Critters 2, Critters 3, and Critters 4. This will save a lot of space on my shelf. So if you don't know, Critters um, are those little critters from outer space. And they wreak habit. That's all I got to say. Mm, it's classic. Then I bought this a while ago. The Wolf of Snow London. Snow Hollow, sorry. Rotten Tomatoes, you know I like my werewolves. I bought this at uh, Walmart. Um, this is a Warner Brothers release, so that's why I might have bought it. Terror grips a small mountain town as bodies are discovered after each full moon. Losing sleep, raising a teenage daughter, and caring for his ailing father, Officer Marshall struggles to remind himself there's no such thing as werewolves. Huh. I love werewolf movies. Let's, let's cross our fingers. I hope it's good. Also at Walmart, I remember buying The Shack. The Shack. Nice slipcover, Walmart. So this is based on a worldwide bestseller, Sam Worthington, Octavia Spencer. 
Oh, I had to get this. Everyone's ranting about it. Lionsgate release. Uh, let's see. The Shack takes on takes us on a father's transformation spiritually uh, spiritual journey after a family tragedy. Max spirals into a crisis of faith and questions God's existence and life's purpose. Mac is unable to move on until he gets a mysterious invitation to an abandoned shack. Wow. You'll never, you're never as alone as you think. Very inspiring. Very inspiring. And then I bought this in the bin at Walmart. The Lost Viking. Born to be the king. I like Vikings. Here's the back. Uh, this was an Ooh, an SP Echo Bridge release. Uh, young Viking and oh, uh, and his family arrive on the Welsh coast with dreams of adventure and exploration. Unfortunately, his family and companions are killed by rival Vikings. I guess. Oh boy, he's going on revenge. Look at that. And then, ooh, we're almost done, folks. Four, six more. The Ten Commandments. Wow. Ooh. Don't tell me this is loose, too. This Charlton Heston. Classic. In 10K. I heard it's gorgeous. Now, this film is way ahead of its time. It was done in the 1950s. And Charlton Heston is in it. Yul Brynner. I mean, I'm sure your folks know your parents or your grandparents, the Ten Commandments. And I got to fix that since it is loose. Then I bought this Dragonheart Vengeance in the bin at uh, Walmart because I think I didn't have this one. And this continues the Dragonheart uh, series. Uh, Lucas, a young farmer whose family is killed by savage raiders in the countryside, sets out on an epic quest for revenge, forming an unlikely trio, trio with a, mis a majestic dragon and a swashbuckling sword-fighting mercenary. Oh, that sounds cool. It's a universal release, Dragonheart. Another one that I thought I had and I didn't, Ill. Final Contagion. The Infected Will Find You. I don't know why I keep thinking this is a Dollar Tree uh, upgrade. Because I found this in the bin at Walmart. And this is another Echo Bridge. A rogue scientist in Chile illegally spreads toxic and biochemical substances by way of contaminated money. Oh, that's, that's clever. Wow. Uh, heading as a worldwide epidemic. Ill. Hmm. That's scary. Then, I bought this Barb and Star, because I love Kristen Wiig. Go to Vista Del Mar. And there's, here's the back. They're on a shrimp. I love comedy with Kristen in it. Uh, let's see what this is baby's about. Uh, this is a Lionsgate release. Take a trip and break out of your shell with Barb and Star. From the gals who brought you bridesmaid. Yay! Comes Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. Lifelong friends embark on an adventure of a lifetime when they decide to leave their small Midwestern town for a first time ever. Romance, friendship, and a villain's evil plot. Plot. Oh, must watch. Yes. Then, I just bought this. Nicolas Cage, Willie's Wonderland, Join the Party. Come on, I could not pass up another Nick Cage film. Here is the back. Uh, this is, wow. This is a screen media release. A quiet loner finds himself stranded in a remote town when his car breaks down. Unable to pay for the repairs he needs, he agrees to spend the night cleaning Willie's Wonderland, an abandoned family fun center. But this wonderful, but this Wonderland has a dark secret that the janitor is about to discover. 
Nicholas Cage is the janitor. He finds himself trapped inside Willie's and locked in an epic battle with possessed animatronic mascots. Creepy. Willie's Wonderland. Then, this is... Uh, I bought this because I love the movie, but I... I realize it's another B region, so I only can watch it in this one. The Cooler. The Cooler. Uh, this is with William H. Macy, Alec Baldwin. Here is the back. Uh, this is um, a nice, beautiful case. Uh, this, I ordered it from Europe. Let's see. The 101 Films presents Wayne Kramer's The Cooler, a unique, unconventional tale of love, luck, and money and revenge. Uh, Bernie is an unlucky guy. Everything he touches turns bad. However, his ill fortune is actually one thing he depends upon to do his job to the best of his abilities. Bernie is the best cooler in town. Wow. And then uh, William Baldwin hires him. Alec Baldwin. Great movie. Uh, I think it's... I think the they're re-releasing it soon. Uh, in the States, in the Blu-ray? I'm not sure, though. But the creme de la creme. I spent a lot of money. I bought the whole thing. World of Wong Ker Wei. In case you don't know him, all you film buffs should. He's famous for As Tears Go By, Days of Being Wild, Chung King Express, Fallen Angels, Happy Together, In the Mood for Love, and 2046. He is a master of soundtracks, soulful romanticism, and look how beautiful this is. I don't even know how to open it anymore. Oh, here it is. Here's the back. Look at this. I had to open it up for you guys. Okay, and then you take it out of that. And then it comes with a poster book. WKW. It's a beautiful poster book of all the films. Wow. And then all the films are in... Oh, hold on. I think it opens up. Oh, boy. Oh, I just heard something go get loose there. Oh, no. It's packed like I don't like it. Oh, boy. This is how Blu-rays get scratched. Okay. So, folks, I don't think it's long enough, but it's that big. Here's all the films. I hope you can see it all. Um, he's a very famous Hong Kong director, in case you didn't know, but his films are excellent, controversial, and he has made a mark in the film industry. <sighs> we did it, folks. I know it's over an hour. Well, that's a big welcome back video for you guys. And now you know what time it is. Thank you for your patience. It's giveaway time. Let's see what I conjured up this time. Bam. Here it is. The digital code for freaky. Great funny film with that Vince Vaughn in it. Uh, when he is a serial killer and switches with a teenage girl. Uh, they switch places like in Freaky Friday. Freaky is a digital code for Blu-rays. Uh, Spider-Man 3 unopened. Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance from my collection. From my collection, Fear Factory Sealed. Uh, this is the Fear with Mark Wahlberg. That's a good one. And Reese Witherspoon. And The Proposal. Look at that. Brand spanking new with a beautiful slipcover. Wow. Excellent. And then the five DVDs. The Mind's Eye, Gwen, Galveston, and from my collection, both Factory Sealed, 
The Road to Perdition, and Amistad. Classic films you should have in your collection. Let's make the password freaky, F-R-E-A-K-Y. For those of you who are new to the channel and you want to get involved in this giveaway for free, absolutely free, all you have to do is write the word freaky in the comment section, F-R-E-A-K-Y. And then wait for, and the winner is a freaky giveaway to find out if you are the winner of this particular giveaway. So we've come to an end of another hodgepodge extra extravaganza. Again, thank you for bearing with me. And I'm sorry I've been absent for a while. There's so many things that's been happening. People getting sick, people getting hurt again. I don't even want to go into it. Uh, I was sick for a couple of days, believe it or not. I think I had the side effect from the first, um, my first uh, vaccination. And now I'm going to get my second one on Sunday. Oh no, I hope I don't get sick. You know what? Let's think positive. I won't get sick. So, let's see. I hope everyone enjoyed this as much as I did. Please, everyone, like. Yeah, like it. And consider, please, subscribing. It's almost, I'm almost hitting my year. And I thought I would truly hit 1,000 by a year, by April 29th. But unfortunately, I didn't. But let's try and make it to 800 now, please. Comment below. Tell me what you liked and enter the contest. Share the Goy Hunter. Share. Smash that notification. Ding a ling a ling. Ding a ling a ling. Bell so you know when I drop a new video. Yes. Goy Hunter out. A river duchy. Ciao. A vida zane. Mahalo nui loa. Peace and love to everyone out there. And the Blu-ray Bandit is still begging you to wear your mask. Mm -hmm.